Hi everybody, this is Anne Emery with Excel for Evaluation. So usually in my videos I choose one or two formulas and I show you how to apply them to data from your evaluation projects. A lot of people have been asking me how I find all of these formulas. So in this video I'll show you how to find out which formulas are available in Excel. So there are actually three ways to find lists of available functions in Excel. First, the auto sum icon, which is really popular among beginner Excel users. Second, the formulas tab. And third, the function bar. So let's take a look at this data set and test out a few of these. So first, the auto sum icon. Let's say you want to find out the average age of people in this data set. So you can just click directly below the age right here in this cell. And to get to auto sum, just make sure you're on the home tab like we are here. And go over towards the right until you find auto sum. Click on this little arrow and you'll see that there are five formulas listed. Sum, average, account of the numbers, which is a tally, max, and min. All we have to do is click on the average button here. Excel automatically selects all of the data for you and all you have to do is press enter and you get an average age of 19.6. So that's why AutoSum is especially popular among beginner users because it pretty much does all of the work for you. It's pretty neat. So the second way to find a list of formulas is through the formulas tab. So let's go back to, up to the top, we'll find the formulas tab, and you'll see a ton of little icons here. Financial formulas, logical formulas, text formulas, etc. My favorite is clicking on more functions, and then I go to statistical, and I find a list of probably 50 or 100 different statistical formulas that are going to look familiar if you've taken maybe a college class or two in statistics. Um, you've got some confidence intervals, correlations, etc. You could just select a formula from this list. And the third way to find lists of functions in Excel is to go to the function bar, which is just this text bar right here, this text box across the middle of your screen. Click on this little FX right here to insert a function. And you can see that we're already on the statistical category, so you see all the statistical formulas. You can change categories. Let's look at, I don't know, financial formulas right here. I have no idea what any of these mean. But you actually get a nice little description down here. So this one returns the accrued interest. Um, if you're looking for something in particular, you can use the search box right here. Let's just look for a standard deviation. And you get a list of a ton. I know that I want STDEV, but in case you aren't sure what all of these mean, you can just look at the little description right here. Okay, so there you have it. Those are three ways to find lists of available functions in Excel. Thank you very much.